This is Shoham Bira, Consultant Optometrist from India. Today I am going to tell you about all about corneal ulcer, symptoms, prevention and treatment. Let's start it with. A corneal ulcer is an inflammatory and potentially infective condition of the cornea involving a disruption of its topmost epithelial layer down through its middle or stromal layer. The cornea is the clear protective covering at the front of the eye and is the first part of eye to focus the light. A cornea ulcer can often be result of an untreated corneal abrasion, a scratch on the cornea. Once an injury or scratches occur, bacteria immediately begin to invade the wound which leads to infection and corneal ulcer. Corneal ulcer occurs in people of all ages. Typically the ulcer is infectious, but some corneal ulcer are not. Pain, redness and vision problem are usually associated with ulcers that contains bacteria. Still, all corneal ulcers should be looked by an eye care professional to ensure that there is no infection and to help craft an appropriate treatment plan. Corneal ulcer symptoms to be aware of. Symptoms of corneal ulcer may vary from person to person, depending on such factors as the location and the size of the ulcer. If the ulcer is caused by bacteria, it may be visible to the naked eye in the form of a white patches on the cornea. Not all corneal ulcers are visible without a microscope. However, especially if they are caused by herpes simplex virus, Typically, corneal ulcer cause symptoms such as pain ranging from mild to severe but typically severe. Redness of the sclera means white portion of the eye and conjunctiva. Photophobia means sensitivity to light, impaired or blurred vision, watering of the eye, clouding of the eye, discharge from the eye, filling of foreign body in eye. What cause corneal ulcer in people like me? In most cases, corneal ulcer are caused by germs that enter through a previous injury or scratches to the cornea. The germs may be viral, bacterial or fungal or there may be parasitic infection. If the ulcer is caused by the herpes simplex virus, it is called dendritic ulcer and it may not be visible to the naked eye. The herpes simplex virus is a common viral infection that many people contract during childhood. Symptoms of this virus typically include cold sores, sore throat and swollen gaps. Rarely does the virus spread to other part of the body but this can occur if you touch an infected area and then touch your eye. Corneal ulcers are more common in contact lens virus possibly due to rubbing of a dirty or defective lens against the surface of the eye. If enough rubbing occurs, the corneal surface can become weak and big, which enables bacteria to enter the eye and begin reproducing and spreading. Contact lens wearers who do not practice proper hygiene also increase their risk of developing corneal ulcer. For example, leaving soft contact lens in a while, sleep, while sleeping, or practicing poor hygiene while removing or adjusting the lenses increased to the exposure of bacteria that can lead to infection. Studies have shown that overnight wear of contact lens is the biggest risk factor of a serious corneal infection. Thymeba keratitis, acanthemeba keratitis are common eye parasites. Contact lens wearers who fail to remove their lenses before swimming can contract these parasites infection. Fungal keratitis can also occur after an injury to the cornea involving plant material or if your immune system is suppressed. Additional cause of corneal ulcer may include eye allergies, corneal abrasion, eyelid that do not close all the way such as base palsy and we also sometimes call exposure keratitis, dry eye, immune system disorder, inflammatory disease such as multiple sclerosis and psoriasis. Diagnosing corneal ulcer is important. Here's why. If you experience symptoms of corneal ulcer, you should contact an eye care professional immediately for a complete and comprehensive eye examination. 
untreated corneal ulcer can lead to permanent eye damage and even vision loss. During the eye exam, your eye specialist will look for signs of infection in case in which an ulcer is not visible. Eye drops that temporarily stain the eye may be used to identify the ulcer. Typically, your eye specialist will use a slip lamp or a microscope to look into your eyes. Regardless of the visibility of the ulcer, a eoloid dye may be used to see the affected area more easily. Visual acuity tests and corneal scrapping may be used to determine the cause of the ulcer. Blood test may be needed to rule out specific disorder and disease. Corneal ulcer treatment options for you. In order to treat corneal ulcer, eye specialist must first determine the cause of the ulcer. Treatment should not be delayed when corneal ulcer develops. If the cause is unknown, antibiotics are prescribed to fight any bacterial infection that may be present. The antibiotics are usually administered in the form of eye drops, sometimes as often one drops per hour. In some cases, corticosteroids eye drops may be prescribed to reduce swelling and inflammation. If the corneal ulcer is severe, a corneal transplant or keratoplasty may be needed. During this procedure, the disease or damaged cornea is removed and a new cornea is grafted onto the eye with teeny teeny sutures. The sutures are removed after healing is complete. Usually several weeks after surgery, most people see an improvement in their vision within days after the surgery. In some cases, hospital stays as long as two days are required. The eye specialist may also recommend you Wear protective glasses, take pain medications, avoid any type of eye makeup, avoid sharing makeup, towels or eye drops with others, avoid wearing contact lens during the treatment procedure, discontinue wearing contact lens while sleeping and also in time of uh, this active infection we also advise to discontinue the contact lens. After your, your full recovery then we are going to say that you can now use your contact lens. So in time of uh, in this, this active disease, do not or any type of eye disease, do not wear contact lens because it can harm you. Wear an eye patch to avoid symptoms such as sensitivity to light or burning sensation. If a corneal transplant is performed, do not allow water to enter your eye. In some cases, minor but permanent vision changes occur, but most people completely heal from corneal ulcer. Follow up visit with your eye specialist are typically recommended regardless of the severity of the ulcer. Corneal ulcer risk factor to know about. If you had a corneal ulcer in the past, you are considered to be prone to long term damage to the cornea and may experience noticeable changes in your vision in the future. Other factors that increase your risk of developing ulcer includes Wearing contact lens, especially shock lenses while you sleep. Severe dry eye, recent infection or injury to eye, severe allergies, eyelid that doesn't close completely due to base palsy or any nerve disorder and sometimes we may call it and sometimes we may call it exposure keratitis. Failure to wear eye protecting during athletic activities, weakened immune system such can be caused by HIV. Walk or hobbies that use pointed tools or procedure or produce dust such as farming or construction work. What are the complications of corneal ulcer? Most complications from corneal ulcer occurs because the ulcer has been left untreated. Typically, treatment can prevent complications such as loss of vision, scarring of the cornea, loss of affected eye due to cataract or glaucoma spread of infection to other parts of your body. Try to see your eye specialist. Corneal ulcer should not be ignored. If you are experiencing symptoms of a corneal ulcer, you should seek medical attention immediately. Sign of corneal ulcer include severe pain, any changes in vision, feeling of foreign body in eye, history of scratches to the eye, history of exposure to chemical or flying particles, excessive discharge, draining from eye. Preventing a corneal ulcer is possible. If you have an eye infection or injury, your eye, you should seek medical attention immediately. From, the, from an 
ophthalmologist or optometrist. Early treatment can prevent the ulcer from developing. Symptoms of corneal ulcers should not be ignored. Contact lens wearers should wash their hand before handling contact lens in order to prevent the transmission of bacteria and foreign objects. Discontinue wearing contact lens while you sleep. Talk to your eye care professional about prevention measures you should take during your normal daily activities. Never let a corneal ablation turn to a corneal ulcer. So friends, this is all about corneal ulcer. If you people want to know anything else other than the subject, please write on my comment box. I will give I will give it I will give the information to you. So friends, please stay safe, stay healthy, and if you people like my video, please like us, share us, and subscribe us. Namaste. Bye.